If you don't know purpose, Satan, Satan has high affinity for women. I'm going to show you. High affinity. He believes he has more chances with women than men. He will haunt you. He will haunt you by applying pressure on your life and your marriage. He will haunt you by ensuring that your finances are always short of what it takes. He will haunt you. I will show you the, the picture. Because there was a prophecy. There was a prophecy that you are going to murder a seed that will do damage to the kingdom of darkness. So he will haunt you. It's not because of you. Because of what you have the potential to do. You become a target in his kingdom. And he will not stop until he gets you. And so you will find so many women. First of all, he will try to deceive you. To put you as a square peg in a round hole. Get you to marry the wrong person. So that, so that initially your life is already so twisted. That the possibility of unraveling it to capture your ordination does not exist. The reason why he wants to attack your husband and make him deviate from God is so that he knows your backbone will bend when the system is dysfunctional. He has many ways to get to you. And that's why you need to know the original reason for which you were given a womb. A womb is the only facility that you cannot operate effectively without groaning. You are not with me. Hmm? You can't operate that womb maximally without groaning. That is suggestive of the fact that the purpose of the woman cannot be truly accomplished outside of the corridor of groaning. That's the groaning man. Because if anything, if your husband dies, it's a problem. If you are demoted in the office, it's a problem. If, if things in the market become pepper, green pepper becomes more costly, it's a problem. It's a problem. Anything that shakes affects a woman first. He knows that. So, in order to avoid being in a situation where you are the receiving end, you need to launch the potential of your groaning capacity. It is intrinsically tied to the fulfillment of your destiny. If you never heard this before, I want to tell you with, with bulgy eyes so that you will know if you have not exercised your womb in groaning. May it not be that it's when you want to deliver a child that you groan first. <laughs> hey! La 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 la. When I married, my wife liked me because when I'm going to pray, I don't call her. I say, rest, rest. I'm the one called. You are not called. Go and sleep. It's me that is called. And I kept holding the tower. Darkness was coming to destroy us. She doesn't know. I will hold it till the break and go to work. She will wake up and enjoy the environment, enjoy the garden. Enjoyed the garden, enjoyed it until I was posted to Lagos. And I'm blessed and say, The things I used to do in secret, you will need to carry on. The first time she tried to do dry fasting with prayer in the night, that's when demons appeared to her physically. Yes. Then she called me early in the morning. I knew there was <laughs> I, I knew there was a challenge. She was if I if I tell her, come, let's to look as if I want to. You are no ah. people with soft skin like this don't pray. Stay there. I'm the one that I'm the one. I'm the one. Until posting came. All the darkness that was in the neighborhood. And you know, where I rented the house, I could buy almost all the houses on that street. That's where darkness, it was dark, where darkness was. So I wanted her to have first hand. There are places we can go in town. She will not see witches. It's not a good training. We went to, we went to weird witchcraft. Where, so when I traveled, ah, she had visitors. Ababiyakabo. 
So she began to exercise the womb. To exercise the womb. I came back after two years. I saw my wife. I didn't believe it. Oh, when I saw the way she was moving, I said, okay, now I can begin my sleep. The sleep I have not slept. So she prays, and then me, I sleep. I said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I came to put you on notice that you will need to use that womb. String things in the neighborhood. She became consistent. Started developing her capacity. Developing her capacity. She will bring reports in the morning. I said, no, this type, it will take 21 days. This, the name of this spirit is this, this kind. You know, Jesus taught them about spirits. Plenty of spirits. And he told them this type does not go except it's only this type. If you are doing the others, you can eat pounded yam, okra. But if it's this type, it doesn't go. Except by fast. Are you are you up against a demon that will not go? Something so strong you've tried to fight, but all your effort has turned to nothing. Isaac was mentoring Esau. He knew he had made a mistake and prophesied and given the blessing to his son that he did not love. He now brought the wisdom of the elders. You will serve him, more, but the day will come when you become restless, his yoke will be broken from of you. That's the message to anyone fighting something so strong. The message is when you become restless, the yoke will break. Mm, I don't know what they did. I don't know what my grandfather did. He was the one that was king in our place. I don't know what he did. I don't know. Every 21 years, when you hit 21 years, there is a demon that comes to destroy the members of our family. Don't just become 21. You can live a good life until you become 21 years. When you become 21, you will have a story. If you survive it, you will have a scar that you will, you will live to tell your grandchildren about. Strange things. That was when I knew that demons understood time. They, they keep time. Witches keep time. That's when I discovered that the kingdom of darkness has functionaries that keep time. And from the first, second, third, fourth, because I'm fifth, I saw Satan's visitation and he left a mark. And I knew I had two years for that visitation to come. So I learned how to grow. Learned how to grow. And indeed, Satan came. I was on campus going to the place of prayer at 12 midnight. I was supposed to be um, 21 by 12 midnight. I was late for prayers because I was doing some stuff. Exactly 12 midnight when I became 21. This all, this big bed with big eyes. It was trying to, well, you will not believe. You will not believe, so I will not tell you the way it was. The bed did not fly to me. The bed appeared and attempted to sit on my head. I, I tried to beat it off. I saw it wasn't afraid of my attempt. So I began to speak in tongues. And the Holy Spirit whispered to me, he said, if you fear this night, you will die. Fear was a luxury you could not afford. So I closed my eyes and I spoke in tongues in capital letters. I spoke terrible tongues. I spoke, I spoke violent tongues. When I opened my eyes, I saw one of the wings was already broken. So I discovered that, that the thing was working. Oh. I didn't know it was a human being in my family that was responsible. When I defeated it, then somebody now died in my family. And then peace now came. Then the person that wanted to pick it up again, he died. The other person I wanted to pick it up, he died. So, everybody now. There's, there's a mystery. I pray that God will provoke you.
to set in motion another mystery there is a mystery that brought darkness can you become the mystery that will bring light some of us are alive today because the darkness that was in our family was defeated I don't know how long you want to wait I don't know how long you want to tarry but my change is today can we pray in the moment of time can we pray in the moment of time I will no longer tarry I will no longer wait I will no longer tarry because God does not need eternity to do what is eternal 